that just like this. There you go. Oh. This is a greeting from the north okay. and the west and the south. In the northern part of Nigeria, they greet like this, mm -hmm. Ranta Dede. Okay. In the eastern part, they do that also. But in the western part, we bow down. So this is a combination of the three. Now the women do this because women are the owners of the home. When you come to their home, just the way salute and handshake started. Um, when you come into their home, they will say like that when I'm like this, I cannot hurt you. Mm. From the bottom of my heart, you are welcome to my home. Mm. So the men will put their hands on it. Okay. And if it's a woman that is older than the other woman, that one also will put her hand. But if they are the same age mate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they will toxic together. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so these are things that they took from us that is very key to who we are mm -hmm. as a people. So they, that's where they exchange the handshake yeah. and is that what when you say it took from us or they took it and used it in a different capacity? No, you see, what it did is basically just uh, diverted us from who we are. Mm -hmm. In 1838, Lord Macaulay in England addressed the parliament and said to them that, listen, <laughs> Africans are brilliant. And I've been all over Africa. They don't steal. They leave their wares on the road and they put their money and they pay. And that uh, their culture is so strong that the only way you can conquer them is to take away that culture. Hmm and replace it with, with a counter, with a counter culture, which is their culture. Exactly. That's when they brought the word corruption, mm. the word stealing, the word black male, right. etc., cetera, et cetera. Right. So that's when they did the identification, with black exactly. versus white, is that when that came exactly. right It was um, a concerted plan. It was, <laughs> it didn't just happen. So it's 400 years of planning. So for us to overcome it, it will require a concerted plan. And so that's what the British slavery, or was that the Portuguese? The Portuguese did the same thing. You know, the, the Portuguese British. started. Right. And then the British so came on. And exactly. Yeah, right, and right. then the British came on. Right. And the Dutch. And, and, and the Dutch. French. And then the French. Right. And then they mastered it. So they copied off of each other, exactly. in essence. Even though they would fight each other, they exactly. would copy off of each other. <laughs> when I watched the video you sent, the chap from the lady that went into your nature in Ghana. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you watched it, okay. I thought you are the Ghanaian. <laughs> <laughs> Until she started talking. <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, okay. <laughs> because you look at him. Oh, but it's not that clear. Yeah, you look at him. You know, Ghanaian, the guy. <laughs> And Nigerians, ah, they are the same. Right, yeah. right. They left here to Ghana. Yes, yes. yes. So there's so much yes, similarity. Yeah. 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 And the cultures are so similar. Right. So similar, yeah. exactly. You, you you can pass for a Yoruba guy. I, I know so many Yoruba well, I've been here since I've been here, and people are surprised when I say that I wasn't yeah. born in Nigeria. <laughs> but, I have, but I have a lot of Nigerian DNA. So I, I know I have a lot of Nigerian DNA. So you are Nigerian, forget <laughs> it. <laughs> Let my uh, EA show you what this is. Sure. Every building has a story. Yeah. Has an essence. Every building. Every building. We don't just build. Mm. We tell a story of where they come. Mm. For example, you are in the first mud house in the world. Okay. With an indoor pool. <laughs> so, so this is a mud house. house. Yes. Made with mud. Pure mud. Over to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Okay, so this chalet is uh, designed to celebrate womanhood. You know, women, we are the essence of life. Let me just put it that way. And this chalet was designed to celebrate that essence. You notice that the swimming pool is in the shape of a pot. Yes. In Africa, the pot is a very important instrument for, uh, for women. They use it to fetch water, they use it to 
improve, they would decide to put the yeah. house together. Right. So this pot, this swimming pool is shaped in the, in the form of a pot. If you look over here, you will notice that the dining table is also oh, yeah. in the shape of a pot. Yes. And it's standing on pots. Mm. So pot, there's uh, something significant about pot. Here. Exactly. Mm. So if you look at the dining chairs, they are actually designed to aid digestion and ease. Please sit. Sit, no problem, right? There's no you don't have to instructions. You sit, you sit. Right. And sit then you're sitting upright while you're eating. Right. So this will aid your digestion as well. Mm. You better sit properly so I can invite you to dinner. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm sitting upright. <laughs> Before I change my mind, I'm watching you say. Hey, hey, can I watch you watching me? Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my hand is free yes, on I this can, side. Yes, I can tell. Yes. And then you can slide in, slide out. Right. Oh. But I like the way I could just slide in mm -hmm. and, slide out. and then I can slide out. Mm -hmm. without, without having to walk the seat. Yes. Now, if you look at the paintings on the wall, you will notice that they are painted on different women doing okay. different things. Now, you have the pots there, of course, and then you have women carrying pots, carrying baskets. Yes. So these paintings are also in the different rooms. I'll show you briefly. Mm -hmm. So please come. Oh, right. so step please notice oh, wow. this lantern. Okay, yes. what she does it's familiar. For okay. kerosene lantern. Oh, of many years ago. Whoa. Yes. Uh -huh. So when we transform, basically, what has the why African culture has been termed barbaric by Africans and you know, non-Africans is because the African culture has not evolved. Mm. You know, if we have been in our culture, we would have, you know, polished it, evolved just Absolutely. like the so-called, yeah. you know, that Western culture. Add to that, and that's the reason why our brother said diaspora has not connected with us mm. religiously. We have not shown African prosperity. People naturally gravitate towards prosperity. Absolutely. I don't want to care stay true. I'm not interested in owning the slave or no slaves. I'm more concerned about prosperity. If I can see a prosperous Africa, you don't need to. If Oprah Winfrey mm -hmm. is a Yoruba woman in Lagos, everybody will come from the world Absolutely. to meet her here. Yeah. Yes. And then we are the custodians of the original. And what we've not done is to take that original, polish it, mm. and let it sit side by side with furniture brought from Italy, the one brought from Switzerland, mm -hmm. the one made in Nigeria, mm -hmm. the tree trunk there mm -hmm. turned to a table mm -hmm. in Nigeria, the log that was cut to transform into the wood made at the factory form, until we do these things, showcases, showcases, and show that Africa is classy. Mm -hmm. We will lose 1.1 billion Africans in diaspora. With just the African American economy, it's mm -hmm. 1.7 really yeah. trillion dollars. Yes, it's bigger than all of Europe. Yes, mm -hmm. all countries in Europe. If you took all Af so-called African Americans and put them together as a country. Right, that they would be among the wealthiest in the world. In the world. But we don't know it though. We don't know that. Because we think we're broke. No, no, no. We, we think you know why we don't know that? Why is that? They have not told us. Right. <laughs> and, and they won't tell That's us. That's the problem. They won't tell we us. We constantly wait for them to tell us. Right. And they're happy. They said, okay. And they're yeah. like, we'll come into your neighborhood. Yeah. And we'll come into your country. And yeah. we'll take the money we'll, out. We'll take it out. And you, you don't know, know what it. to do with <laughs> right. it. I will show you what to do with right. it. Right. That's what I try to tell They don't tell us. 1.7 trillion US dollars. The whole of the continent of Africa has 1.2 billion people. There's 1.1 billion in diaspora in Brazil. I was going to say put Brazil in there. You put, you, we didn't even talk about Brazil. Yeah. 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 The Caribbean. The Caribbean. There's six states right. in the Caribbean. If you match all that together, that's about 2.4 billion. Yes. We are bigger than China. Yes. 1.2, 1.4 billion people. Yes. And we have 30.2 million square kilometers of area. China has only 9.8 million. And we have the wealth of the world. Yes. The sixth largest economy in the world is California. Mm. 
and 62, uh, 46% of that comes from entertainment, from football. And who dominates that? Africa is there. But we don't know it. Yeah, because or we fail to know it. Open up your eyes and see. Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on a children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa and they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.